Hey there, Commandos. How are you guys doing today? Rooster here with another fantastic, fun-filled edition of the Tuesday Toy Box. I started to swear that word a little bit like a drunk. Don't know what's going on there. The Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. A little sick, so I think that's what's going on there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Definitely crazy. So, last week you looked at the Red Ranger helmet. That was pretty cool. Really enjoyed that one. This week, we're going to look at something that's actual a toy. Something that you'd be like, hey, I could get this for a child and give it to them. And they would really enjoy this. And they wouldn't just put it on a shelf and break it quickly and I'd be sad. And that thing this week is a stuffed animal. In fact, it's a stuffed animal of one of my favorite supporting characters in comic books. I am speaking, of course, of Dexter, the Red Lantern Cat from DC Comics. Meow. He's a good kitty. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is from the DC Super Pets plush line. Uh, this guy comes with, uh, well, he doesn't come with, but you can get other ones in the line. Uh, Jump of the Kangaroo. You can get, uh, God, who else is in there? Uh, Streaky the Cat, Crypto the Super Dog. I think there's a Bat Cow. Uh, I think there's a Hoppy the Rabbit. There's a whole bunch, just all of the uh, the DC Super Pets. Uh, they have, they're, they're coming out with their own line, or they already came out with. Uh, this is a couple years old now. Um, and I saw this in Previews Magazine a few years ago, and I was like, yes, that is going to go on my shelf. Uh, in fact, normally you see it up on the shelf uh, right here next to Slash. Uh, today, obviously, he is down and in my hands, and I am playing with him because I just love this little guy. It's so fun. He's got that really annoyed look on his face. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm really biased towards this one. Cats are one of my favorite things on this planet. Uh, like dogs, love cats. And uh, so, like I said, this guy, I saw him in previews and just had to have him. Honestly, it's not a bad plushie. I mean, it's it's soft, and it's probably made of stuff that won't kill kids. Not 100%. I don't have the bag anymore. Uh, let's see, what does it say what you're made of? It says new materials only, and it meets all kinds of regulations, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> Are you glad it's just a basic deck star in his Red Lantern outfit? Uh, he's got his ring on his tail which is one of the most important things. Uh, fantastically, they got the ring right. Uh, one of my favorite issues of <laughs> Red Lanterns is, uh, I mean, it's not one of my favorites, but uh, Atrocitus sends out a whole bunch of rings, and they draw the rings sideways for some reason. It's like the artist just completely shit the bed on that one. It was fantastic. Uh, but yeah, no, this guy's nice. He's soft. He's cuddly. Um, I'm sure in a few years, Parker will see this and just be like, yeah, Katie, and he'll really want to play with this. And uh, honestly, I'll probably let him because... I mean, I'd love to see my son playing with the Red Lantern stuff, because that's the best Lantern Corps. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really have too many, uh, I don't have anything bad to say about this guy. It looks great on a shelf. I imagine kids would love playing with this. Like I said, it's nice, it's soft, there's no hard pieces, uh, it's stitched up pretty well. There's, uh, I've had this, like I said, for at least a year. I want to say, uh, I want to say it came out last year, or, uh, two years ago, because it's 2018 now, so it would have come out in 2016. Um, the line itself, uh, when they came out, they were probably about 10, 15 bucks to get. Uh, I think this guy's a little harder to find now. Uh, I assume because he's so awesome, that would be why he's hard to find. Um, a quick Amazon and eBay search before I did this video, uh, I had him selling for like a hundred dollars. Um, I'm a hundred percent that you could find this at some comic shops cheaper than that because it's, it's a stuffed animal guys. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's not a hundred dollar awesome piece of uh, piece of collection unless you're like I need that Red Lantern. In which case, go buy the Blee statue. It's the CoverGirl line, and it is awesome and well worth a hundred dollars that you will pay for it. Um, yeah, there's no stuffed animal that I can think of that'd be like a hundred dollars. I need that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said, um, colors nice, different colors, stitching's really decent on it. Uh, no hard parts, like I said, nothing that would hurt a child. Uh, right now, I mean, if it wasn't for the fact you shouldn't give a two-month-old uh, stuffed animals, I'd be like, hey, Parker, sleep with this guy. Um, <coughs> yeah, I mean, in fact, probably should have used this for the uh, pictures I take with him every month. <laughs> That'd be a nice size comparison. Maybe a three. So, yeah, I love this one. This is great. It looks great on a shelf. It stands up pretty well on its own. Um, he's got four paws. They are uh, positioned really well so that he stands. He's not lopsided in any way, shape, or form. His ears are a little loppy, but, I mean, that's kind of a cat thing. He's got that great dull expression. Uh, the only thing that would honestly make this better is if it had a little voice box you could squeeze and it would say, I am good kitty. That would be fantastic. I would I would fall in love with this even more. Uh, but, yeah, so nice, short, sweet, simple review, guys. Uh, if you're looking for something fun for your kids, maybe, this might be one to look for if you can find it for uh, under $100. 
Um, if not, uh, like I said, I'd recommend all the other ones. Uh, the crypto is great. I have a streaky as well. Cause like I said, I'm a cat guy. Um, they're really fun. They're really nice. They're great on shelves. They stay up really well. Uh, honestly, it's, it's a really good stuffed animal from DC. It's a nice one of the lower end collectibles you can get. And I can't see any reason not to own this if you like the lantern stuff. So commandos with that, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. That'd be fantastic. Facebook, hit that like button. Go ahead, you know, share the love. Go ahead and share this with your friends, your enemies, anybody. I know you're getting sick of that joke. And if you start sharing them, I'll stop making it. So thank you so much, guys. We're doing fantastic. Um, it's still great to be back. Week three is going really well. And I can't wait to bring some more content for you guys. So thank you so much. And you guys have a fantastic evening. This is Rooster signing out.